Igral bi sa seba Pa ću vedo bi igrat Yeah, yeah Loving you is like a battle Oh, and we both end up with scars Tell me To get some red surprise No one loves you more than me Oh no one ever will No matter how I think we grow You always seem to let me know It ain't working It ain't working Try to walk away You hurt yourself to make me stay This is crazy This is crazy, yeah You said you care for me, there for me, there for me. Said you'll be there for me, cry for me, cry for me. You said you die for me. Give to me, give to me, give to me, give to me, give to me. Why won't you live? 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 Why won't you? What's up, what's up, what's up? Let's glue it, get into it, pal. Number one, we're gonna like some more shades. How y'all doing? Brothers, y'all all right? <laughs> Let's see. Ooh, shoot. Okay, power one. We're gonna get into it. We're gonna see should you give this person on your mind a second chance. Okay, let's see. It's pretty looking, guys. Should power one. Give the person a second chance. Should power one. Give the person on their mind a second chance. Ten of Cups. Okay. And the Justice. Yes, I think there's a lot of love here. I think the truth. Um, I think that the way you look at the situation, I think that with this relationship, I think that it's going to have ups and downs. Okay, and I think that you may have um, this percent unrealistic expectation on um, relationships with longevity. I mean, there's going to definitely be with you. And I think you guys have a, like a past life connection. You guys, are either you guys are family. I'm here. We are a family, like a giant tree reaching up for the skies. <laughs> That's real sad, dream girls. So it's something like the energy surrounding you guys have too much history, too much. It's like it's this connection is too significant for you to just throw it in the. You know, just leave it just 
and just throw it haywire like it doesn't matter is what I want to say. Personally, just looking at the cards, ten of cups, six of cups, uh, what else? Ten of cups, six of cups in a justice card. I think it's something that over time, whatever it is you experience, right now you're deep in your emotions and over time you will move past what it is that you are experiencing. I think that you guys are just going on separate paths right now and it may be emotional because of like the history between you two. But um, whatever, whatever beef you guys may have, right now but i definitely feel like it's something that's worth reconcile reconciliation when it arrives okay um what does Paul want to know about this connection okay we have the page of swords and a star i think that this is somebody who is um wondering what to say to you they are wondering how to communicate with you this person is probably seeking uh probably asking around to try to see how they can get in contact with you um right now possibly to give you some sort of apology i think this person keeps tabs on your social media as well they have noticed your success and notoriety um i think this is also the truth being told that not everything is what it seems so if you guys have, are upset with someone based off a community it could be been miscommunication or it could be energy surrounding miscommunication surrounding social media this could be like a social media post that rips someone the wrong way and they're get real insight with pre-recorded tarot readings personalized tarot reads by the trap tarot minister herself you get to pick an affordable package that fits your vibe on the website the best part rewatch your reading anytime anywhere Keep it for your personal records and track your progress. Clarity, insight, convenience. Book your personalized tarot reading today. Visit the Trap Tarot Minister. Call for more details. Remember, clarity is just a click away. It could be um, miscommunication surrounding that. Things could not be as they seem. With the Page of Wands and a Ten of Wands, there could be... Um stressors on this connection because there could be a lifestyle difference between the two of you um there could be a um a little bit of an insecurity that are triggered uh, from this person within this relationship uh, i do think that there's this this connection here could be very triggering essentially because perhaps this person is very attractive or they get a lot of attention or they get from people whether it's romantic or platonic and this could be somebody where their attention is divided away from you and you could feel like an afterthought and within this relationship or this connection but i think that this is something to where this is just a new experience for this person um it doesn't mean that it takes away from what you guys have which is special here with the star card and i think that's something that you need to know what you guys have is special and anything outside of that is outside of that um it's it's what's understood doesn't have to be explained okay we have the two of one i think that you guys um should anticipate that there's going to be some sort of dialogue meaningful dialogue between you and this person very soon regarding the subject matter because i think this is something where you guys have stopped talking i think this person is um wondering why that is um, in the present moment. Okay, anything else for power one? Okay, situation spirit. Anything else? Who she wanted? Okay, we have a claim in Sagittarius. So I think that in divine time, in this reunion will be divinely orchestrated from the spirit. And I think that it's something that you can claim. I think that it's something that you don't have to feel guilty for too. You don't have to feel guilty for wanting this person back into your life or for missing this person, yearning for this person. Because I think the separation between you and this person um, happened strategically and for a reason. Um, but I think that... This is something that you guys are gaslighting yourself as a warning when it was something that you really had to submit to um, as opposed to something that you actually wanted for yourself. It was something that you felt like had to be done, okay? Given the search of circumstances, okay? And I feel like circumstances are changing. There's a system, there's an energy of a cycle closing out uh, between you and this person and a new beginning presenting itself between you and this particular individual or these people, okay? So should power want to give this person or these people a chance? We have strength. I think this is something to worry. Yes, but um, like with giving a chance, it's not giving. I'll let you back in, and we we completely forget why you were in a doghouse in the beginning. This is the energy surrounding baby steps. Okay. 
this is definitely baby steps that you're being encouraged to have within this relationship certainly okay um with hercules being present i think there's some training needs to be developed i think this person has to prove their worth i think this person has to uh, exemplify um the certain qualities so you can begin to trust this person to allow this person back into your life but i think that it's um you're giving the the, the thumbs up in regards to allowing this person to um, exemplify those behaviors okay so let's see anything else you want to add for power one in the running situation we have courage i think it's important that you be brave and move forward with this uh, transformation that you guys are walking into with grace and i think that this person here is coming here to um, restore some faith that you may have lost faith that you may have lost regarding love or within romantic or platonic connections specifically this one that you're um asking about and you're being encouraged to be brave as this new beginning approaches and arises so this will be your reading find number one i love you guys in the minute back and around so i'll see you guys later bye Okay, pile number two, let's get into it. Let's see, should you give this person another chance? Pile two, it's your girl, the Chateau Minister, giving you another sugar-free production. Hopefully, you guys thumbs up the video that lets me know that you guys like content like this and allows me to be able to continue to produce content that you enjoy. So, let's see. Um, for pile two, should they give this person on their mind another chance for pile two? We have the Ace of Gems, okay? Should perhaps we give this person another chance? We have the Nine of Swords. Okay. Should perhaps we give this person another chance? No discrimination, just pure, genuine prophecy. Real niggas do real nigga shit. Universal guidance tailored for you. Should possibly give this person another chance? The Six of Swords. And we have the Moon. I think that this is something that will naturally evolve into something better. Um, but I think it's contingent on some healing that is done within on both ends. Okay, so I would say there's going to be a new opportunity that's presented to you um, where um, there's going to be a new opportunity for growth within this connection. But I think this person here in the past, there was a lot of people involved within this conflict that was orchestrated in the past between you and this person. And I think that right now there's new opportunity for um, reflection for the both of you guys on separate paths to reflect on what we're wrong in this relationship with the Ace of Gems being present. I think this is a profound found opportunity to, for you to reflect on what went wrong what could you have done better what could they have been done better what boundaries need to be placed what boundaries did need to be there so on and so forth and i think that you're positively going to move forward within a situation um, and past the situation and then and only then will this present situation present itself where you're presented with a new opportunity for a new beginning and this will be something that will be quite frankly quite triggering for you when it's presented to you because it might be something this might be someone that a lot of people want in their energy time or space um and it will be a little bit triggering when it's opportunities presented to you but i do think that this is something that you can anticipate is going to come back around into your life okay so or it's already come back into your life i think it's just something that you know a lot of people want this person or want to be around this person uh, or have this person's attention or this person has a lot of their attention on a lot of things this person could have their attention on a lot of like business projects for example and along with what comes with that is a lot of people who may like them for the things that they are involved in and that's just something you have to be cognizant of um, but regarding should you give this person a second chance I think yes I think that this person here they could trigger you or certain insecurities but it's not necessarily them inherently it may be some shadow work that you have to work on within yourself that you are projecting onto this person that is causing uh, unnecessary blockages blockages in it within this relationship is what i want to say so um what do i what is power to need to know about this connection 
the ace of sword there will be a conversation where there's some truth is shared between you and this person some clarity is going to be presented to you we also have here the seven of cups i think there's an energy surrounding again that you may be um distracted surrounding like this person here you may feel like this person has a lot of options but with the queen of pentacles being present i think this person puts you on a pedestal i think you're someone that's just not interested in competing for anybody's attention i think it just bothers them that this person here gets so much attention from other people but i think that this is somebody here where there's so many moving parts to the situation that you are unaware of clarify the seven of cups we have the three because i think this person has a lot of friends i think that there might be some insecurities again that are triggered within you that are self-conscious blocks within self that you're projecting onto someone else to fix but it's less about the fact that this person draws attention and more for so about the fact that you believe that someone is better than you that is causing issues within this relationship with the nine of pentacles knight of pentacles on bottom of the day this is something that will live, grow and evolve in something greater and stronger over time anything else that possibly needs to know anything else that possibly needs to know about this connection they're inquiring about bond you and this person are very close they hold you in high regards anything else that possibly needs to know we have justice there will be a reconciliation between you and this person anything else that possibly needs to know anything else that possibly needs to know generosity i think this person is very um compassionate towards you and you want to be very giving especially be very nurturing towards you and with patience and due time and divine timing there will be a reconciliation between you and this person or these people with that being said i love you guys to the money back and around on so this is my talk to you guys later bye on to pile number three okay hi pile number three sugar key the trap to our minister we're back with another sugar free production we're going to get right into it we're going to be deciphering should you give this person a second chance or not okay why or why not essentially so let's see <sighs> let's see so should pile three give this person a second chance should power three give this person a second chance i heard another chance so this might not be this person's second chance this might be this person's umpteenth chance okay so should power three give this person another chance we have the nine of swords mm. should power three give this person another chance we have the six of swords to power three person another chance we have the page of gems I would say no you're better off going towards something new I think that you've learned your lesson from this situation here and I think that it's high time we move forward and we progress and we stop going to back to what's familiar and because it's uncomfortable to go back to something that's already hurt you and it's equally as uncomfortable to go towards something new but you have better chances with experiencing the latter maybe some positive emotions going after something new than you do going back to the situation that you're accustomed to I think this situation here will bring you misfortune but let's see uh, what else does pal three need to know about this connection or about okay we have the four pentacles i think this person holds back from you they break from you intentionally and they know they're doing it they're doing it intentionally okay we have the um nine of pentacles i think this person likes a single life they aren't as um committed to you as you are to them what's proper anything about this connection they're asking about okay uh what is this the devil came out this is insatiable and with the five of cups i think this person has addictions
this person here has addictions. This person has addictions not only to like substances but to sex, um, the fast life. This person just has a darker nature and is this person not being in your life is a blessing in, in, in like disguise. Why would you want to be connected to the devil? The Ten of Cups is here. I think you put a lot of idealism over this person but God is literally shielding you and protecting you by separating the two of you guys and keeping you at bay from one another. So um, let's see anything else. What do you want Poppy to know about this connection you're inquiring about? What do you want top three to know about this connection you're inquiring about? Consistency. I think this person here hasn't shown you any consistency. Therefore, there isn't anything for you to be holding on to regarding this connection. Like, you, um, there's loyalty that you've been given to offer to this person. And it's, it's, it's a reflection of who you are as a person, but they are undeserving of it. Um... What else do you want property to know about it? We have sacrifices. I feel like if someone's love costs you your sanity, your peace, your money, time, and energy, it's far too expensive. I think that you can no longer go for this person's um, love, if you can even call it that. One more card. What does property need to know about this connection you're inquiring about? We have destiny. I think this is somebody you were fated to meet that was supposed to be a catalyst for growth and change. And I think that you have been misinterpreting this as a life partner when this person would just be somebody that's like a touch and go like type of situation where this person is supposed to show you what needs to be healed and you're supposed to move forward. That's it. That's all. And it's imperative that you not um, exaggerate it to be more than what it's supposed to be. So, yeah. I love you guys. See the money back. I'm Ronald. So, I'll see you guys later. Bye. Mwah.